Hey guys, um, welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to be showing how I'm going to set my saddle up. I got the new grip saddle a couple weeks ago, and I have that video on the channel, but I didn't have my steps. <clears throat> so I got these steps. Um, there's a Hawk Helium, and I'll show you guys my whole process of setting up. And if you guys have a better way, just drop a comment and tell me ideas. I, I'm very new to saddle hunting, so um, if you have good ideas on how to how you guys set your saddles up, how you guys set your steps up, just um, uh, yeah, welcome all the comments and any ideas you guys have. So. I'm going to set it up. I got um, an aider in here. Actually, I think I have it right over here. I just made an aider out of um, some gas hose and some paracord. So I'll put this on the first step, then I have a little bit more reach to get up further. One thing I learned is you can actually just take your one step and put it right in here. And that can't, that can't unbuckle. And it's very quiet, you don't have to worry about it. I might actually go with two aiders, one in the bottom and one on the second step, just, get, just to get a little bit more reach. Now this setup is not gonna be light at all because I got that camera, or I'm gonna have that camera in my bag and uh, I got a camera arm, another camera, and a GoPro. So I'm not going for a light setup, but I don't have a lot of, I won't have to go way back in it ever almost. So if I'd have to walk a lot, I'd have to try to minimize my weight more, but I'm just trying to get everything with. Okay. So here I got this platform, I got this little carabiner clip, I put some silencing tape on there. This goes right on the back. Like so, out of the way. Then I got this one here. I got it clipped on here so I can just leave this at the bottom of the tree and uh, clip these together. My bow can kind of lean in like that. And I'm good to go. Normally I'd have my camera in the bag, but I'm using it right now, so. All right. These steps aren't the lightest, but you can get them for like, sometimes like $80 for a four pack. And you can't get any other aluminum steps anywhere for that price. So, so if you're hiking a lot, like way back in, these might be too heavy for you. But if you're just um, not going as far, a little bit closer to the road or whatever, these are going to be just fine. One thing you can do is if it's close to a loop but not you can't slip it in you can turn your step like this and then turn it back on cinch it down so i can i made this aider for almost nothing i mean just buy a little bit of gas gas hose and a piece of uh paracord and you got an aider i think the less Less of those clips you can have, those carabiner clips or whatever you call them, um, the better. Because you can tape them and get some, minimize some noise, but if you, could, if you can just stick it in like that, you don't have to worry about a clip at all. This tree is actually pretty nice to climb. All right, now I got all my steps up and 
probably want my platform on on one side or the other. You don't want it right above you. So you can just get it off right here. I like to have the strap wrapped around it and tight. That way you don't, this thing's not flopping open and you don't have to get another strap out of your bag. You can just unloop it there and you're good to go. Alright. So now you just pull it tight as tight as possible without without putting the platform down. And then force that down. You can actually do it, force it down once and then put it back up and tighten it again. Make all the bark loose and then force it down again. And there it's tight. Just get that around there. Get this up as high as possible. Oh, I'm out. My tether is in this right side pocket. And this one I got one of those Kong ducks on. It's kind of a funny name for a piece of metal, a Kong duck. There you go. Get my uh, bridge in here. Adjust that to about. All right. There you go. So now I have my rope tied to my uh, camera bag and my backpack and my bow. I brought the mount, my camera arm mount up with me. That way I can attach the mount like an extra bracket to hang up my bow or my backpack. Okay, so I got the bracket mounted and my bow hanger mounted. So now I'm ready to pull the whole system up. Normally I'd have my camera in the bag, but um, I'll pull that up after. And if you guys have better ideas how to pull up your gear, um, definitely comment below because I don't know, I need ideas. This isn't the best way. I'm sure there's other ways out there. So now I got my cam arm here. All I need to do is pop it right in there. I'm good to go. Brother Trip. Get the dog down here. See how that looks. Um, it's pretty, it's like a 35 millimeter lens, so it, um, I can't get really wide with it, but it. It, uh, it can zoom in pretty far. So I think it will work pretty good. Um, it looks really good from what I can see. Got my tether here. I'm gonna take some shots at this target right over here and um, see what I think about saddle hunting. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. 
and uh, subscribe. I'm going to be doing some hunting videos and I'm going to be filming for other hunters. I'm going to be showing just a lot of videos like this. So um, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, I'm going to shoot my bow yet. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. I mean, I love how steady it is up here. Smoked him. First time saddle hunting. Or, not hunting, but first time that I'm gonna be saddle hunting. Alright, thanks guys for watching and see you later.